Good morning, all. I wanted to do another garden tour. Um, I will not be showing my face because I have the cooties, a.k.a. the pink eye. So, I wanted to show you guys what's going on in my garden. And this is one of my sunflowers. Isn't it pretty? Okay, so as you guys know, I my channel is focused on gardening and urban circumstances and one of the people i love to follow on youtube is jessica sowers from roots and refuge farm and she has a high tunnel that she grew tomatoes in and she talked about how the tomatoes were in so much better shape in the high tunnel so this is my mini high tunnel this is um my um greenhouse from the winter and uh, I cut windows into it and uh, put a shade cloth on top because you want to keep you want to minimize the moisture on the leaves of your tomatoes so I some of these tomatoes are determinate some of them are indeterminate all of my determinate ones have already fruited as you can can you see see that fruit there it, uh, some have fruit set, some do not. Um, that's another one that has fruit on it. So, um, let's see. That one does not. So, the thing about determining the indeterminate tomatoes is that the determinate ones will set fruit faster. Meaning they will, um, here's another one that has some fruit on it. And that's my 42 day. And um, they set fruit all at once, then the fruit, um, um, you harvest it, and then that plant's done. Indeterminate keeps going and going and going. <clears throat> so, um, yep, this is my high tunnel. So, like, this one is a rainbow tomato, which could be yellow, red, uh, purple, um, or orange. But it hasn't set fruit yet because it's indeterminate. So this is one of the neatest things guys look at my eggplant look at there I am so stoked oops so yeah that's why they call it eggplant y'all because it looks like eggs they used to this variety is elongated but there are some where they're like balls shaped eggs and these are my green night dog these grew fast so these are going to be green. These are going to be white. <laughs> Let's see. These um these are going to be here. See? These are these are my black beauty. Um my the green peppers. Uh, let's see. These are my habanadas which have not have they set fruit? These habanadas are like habaneros, but they're not hot. That's why it's not a habanada. These are cayenne. Oh, that's not cayenne. That's a bell pepper. Uh-oh. So I have a bell pepper in with my cayenne peppers. I think it's cayenne. Yeah, because you see how that's long? Peppers like to hold hands. So you can plant a couple of them together. That's what I've done. And this is my shishito, I think. Yeah, these are my shishito. So this is my pepper bed, and I've started some more eggplants back there in the back. So I did have all those tomato plants that are in the um, mini high tunnel were sitting on this bed. And um, while they were sitting here, I planted um, marigolds. Or are those are those marigolds? I planted some flowers because I wanted flowers blooming in with um which is now peppers. These are other peppers I've planted and back here are mustard greens. I'm gonna thin these out when they get a little bigger. So I'm gonna let them grow until they get big enough for salad because you can eat them raw in salads then i'm gonna thin them out and then i'm going to let them grow so they're just regular mustard greens but um that pepper didn't come up my pimento pepper came up 
that is something I don't know what it is but I'm going to use my picture it app to figure out what it is it's an app you can load onto your phone um this is potato so I compost and um I um back a couple of months ago I had made some mashed potatoes that I um, from scratch and I took the peels and put them in the compost well apparently they had eyes on them because I have potatoes everywhere so I'm just gonna let them grow and see what happens shoot um I don't know what a lot of this stuff is some of it may be flowers but I'm gonna use like I said my picture it app so my bishop's crown did not come up yet that bell did not come up yet and that corno de toro did not come up yet but the pimento did actually you know what i think i had i you know what i um transplanted that pimento so that's my pepper bed so this is going to be my herb bed and i have some basil that i transplanted in the back and they are struggling scr but we're gonna hold on and see what the end's gonna be and i have flowers in the middle so I need to transplant this deal and I bought um, this a cool jalapeno pepper so it's a pepper it's a jalapeno pepper but it's not hot and um, these are okra yeah green okra um, this is a sweet pepper so I need to go ahead and put these in my pepper bed and there is another potato and I'm leaving it so all of these are pole beans. These are yard long beans. Um, Chinese noodle beans and yard long beans. So they will grow really long and they'll grow up my janky trellis and they'll drop down. So we'll see how that goes. But they're starting to do their thing. And I've started some more okra here and here. And this is my um, watermelon and white scallop i think that's squash so i got this thing from goodwill yesterday and i have this bean growing here y'all and i for real i don't know what it is i have no idea what this is really have no idea so i'm gonna let it crawl you know grow down there and i might put a few more beans there so here's my squash bed squash slash cucumber and i this is my armenian um cucumber and these get really big so i'm gonna feed that back through there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some more i have some more of this and i'm just gonna put it up against so that it can go down this way to the ground and lemon cucumber Look at my squash and some more squash. And my eight ball zucchini. I need to prune some down. Ah, what is this one? That's an eight ball too. So they're kind of slow growing. I don't know what's going on in these streets, but see one, there's another one. So uh let's see and i have lemon balm that i got at a plant swap that is going well and there's another sunflower oh hey boo boo i'm gonna have to get my picture it app and see what the heck that is i'm telling you that picture it app is everything okay this is my um red malabar spinach which i hear tastes nasty um i'm gonna have to harvest this shard and go ahead and can it up and this um red mustard and go ahead and can it up and then i'm gonna clear this out and i'm gonna put my okra here look at my cabbages <laughs> they're pretty and then this one what tomato plant is that this one is my amish paste tomato um and they and I think they're supposed to make real good sauces. And uh, this is a is this my forty two day? 
I think this is a 42 day. I think, I don't know, because that's pretty big. I don't know. I think that's a 42 day. That's my Consuela Genevieve. You see how they're, they look like little pumpkins? They're pretty. And what is here? What is this one? Sometimes tags disappear. This looks like another cherry variety. Um, this is my white Thomasil. No, it's a rainbow tom, which I don't know what color it's going to be. And it's a indeterminate. So, like I said, they take longer to fruit. Here are my collards. My Morris head and collards, which are getting really big. Um, and this is my red Russian kale. So, I'm going to harvest all of this, hopefully today. I don't feel good. But, um, if not today, definitely this week. So I started secession sowing some kale to eat for salads. So I started this um, one week, and then I started this the second week, and then I'm going to do that the third week. So as I eat salads, I'll always have salad. Um, this is thyme, which is looking, no, oregano, and then thyme. Is this oregano? Yes, oregano thyme. So they're doing fine. And I put them under here. So I'm wondering if it's the shade that's making it do better. This is the volunteer potato plant. And it's coming up with some more potatoes. I planted a cucumber in here. I don't think it's come up yet. It might not come up. But when this dies out, um, that cucumber can climb up this thing here. <sighs> my bok choy bolted, which means went to seed because it's too hot for it. But I'm going to let it go ahead and go to seed and um, save the seeds. And then this is lettuce and more bok choy. I wanted to show you guys how you can take, um, when you trim off your tomato plants, this um was a big stalk that was off one of my tomatoes and I don't know which one it was which is so unfortunate but it's rooting so I'm gonna plant it and um, just have another tomato plant so as you prune your tomatoes you put them in water and um, it'll make a root and you can just plant it so these are my dwarf zinnias and they haven't flowered yet but I think they're gonna be pretty eventually but thank you for joining me on this garden tour. Um, my next move is to clean up this area. I have so much crap on my patio that I want to organize so that I can use my patio this summer. So keep growing, guys. Even if you are in an urban situation, you too can grow food. So grow with you later. Bye.